second day for celebration of free and open source software. We hope you have another day full of learnings, joy, inspiration, and much more. Hi. Can I have a hi, please? Thank you. We welcome you all once again to the third edition of India Force. I'm Yukta and this is Abhishek and before that, good morning. Did you all have your breakfast? Perfect. So I'm Abhishek and we both are going to be the host here for today. And on day when that was yesterday, we witnessed that there were amazing sessions on multiple tracks, including unconference. We saw a lot of good workshops, project showcases, open spaces, community tables, and a lot of discussions around it, right? So before we uh, start with day two, let's have a quick glance at uh, uh, or the review the code of conduct. So we will uh, encourage all the participants to have a spirit of uh, friendliness, open, uh, being open-minded, and uh, with respect to everyone, will not tolerate any kind of harassment of any form, whether it's exclusory uh, or behavior of any kind. Make sure that you are kind uh, to people around you and maintain the boundaries, respect their boundaries. And if you uh, see any kind of violation happening or experience, please email it to coc other at fossunited.org. Also, we have a point of contact with Shal and Ria. You can also reach out to them. And uh, without doing a further ado, I think we should start with the day two or of India FOSS 3.0. Yes, so let's get started. Uh, in first, we have opening note by Rishabh Mehta, Sai Rahul, and Kailash Nath from the FOSS United team. Please give a Can big round of applause to them. Hi, uh, good morning, everybody. <coughs> uh, welcome again, and you know. Great to see all the participation. I know it's Sunday morning. Um, so just wanted to uh, say um, say a few words, just share some thoughts. You know, we have had great attendance yesterday, and you know, we've seen this is just the third India Force, and people are definitely interested in the things that happen here, the sharing that happens, and uh, you know, meeting other Force developers, uh, getting inspired from somebody else to do something, right? And you know, beyond just tech, I mean. There is this is also this idea of FOSS, right, which is giving it away for free. And uh, while all of us are here, and, and, and there is also movement, right, which is uh, beyond just the tech. And how do we, as FOSS United, enable this movement, right? To be very honest, I see a lot of enthusiasm, but I don't, I don't think we have a way to capture this and convert it into any kind of mean meaningful movement yet. So, uh, you know, wanted to get views of people of, you know, how, how do you want to get uh, to contribute to FOSS United. We have, a, uh, we have an hour uh, at the end of the day from 4 to 5, I think, um, where, you know, we are having an open discussion. So please stay back for that and, you know, please share your views on what, uh, you know, you want, to, you want FOSS United to be and how you would like to contribute uh, to this movement. So just some thoughts. Uh, Rahul, you want to add? Um. Yeah, I just wanted to add a couple of comments, mainly based on that. So I got involved in FOSS United about a year back now, like al al almost a year back. September of 22 is when uh, I became a FOSS United scholar to do a tech policy course. And I've been involved with FOSS United since then, mainly as a volunteer. Uh, I come from a bit of a different background. I do write software, but I write scientific software. I don't have a B.Tech. I have a master's in science. Uh, and for me, the thing that I've come to appreciate is the fact that this community is very open to people from different backgrounds. And we're just here to talk about open source and how it is helping us solve problems. Uh, and again, like Rishabh was saying, there's a whole bunch of ways in which you can like, contribute to the community. We would love to hear more people. We'd love to have more people help us maintain the code that uh, we are trying to create, maintain the communities that we're trying to build. Uh, or like financially support us. And the main thing that we're all trying to think here is, okay, fine, how do we go about doing it? Uh, there's, there's always people who organically end up uh, uh, being attracted towards certain organizations or certain communities. And we want to try and see how can we like make that organic growth better, more sustainable, and so on. So yeah, we, we want to try and have this in the back of our heads so that at the end of the day, we try and think about and have a like informal conversation about, okay, where is this going? How can all of us be involved in this? And uh, yeah, how it makes sense. 
thank you yeah if anybody of you wants to share a quick thoughts like <coughs> maybe two or three or four people on you know how you want to contribute what do you see fortune united do better you know anybody wants to quickly add Okay. Hello. Uh, so yeah, of course, it's uh, it's a great opportunity to share uh, what exactly we are doing. And uh, I mean, yesterday because I was one of the speakers, so I got to interact post that, and I got to share my views and got to hear other views as well. So it was a great opportunity that I got yesterday. Thank you. Any other questions, or anyone wants to share any point? Okay. So we have space. I mean, irrespective of whether uh, you are directly interacting with here or not people are already av uh, available outside of the hall as well so feel free to interact and uh, have uh, shared opinions right so um, let's start with our first session and thank you rishabh and rahul for putting out the thought here